So, from the title, you probably know that I'm pregnant. So, um, currently, right now, according to the test, I am two to three weeks pregnant. But according to the NHS, I am four to five weeks pregnant, which is insane. Like, absolutely insane. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this video, but I was watching back on some other people's YouTube videos where they'd kind of gone through this whole process and shared it. And I just found it really interesting and not kind of, less lonely and kind of explaining things a little bit better um so yeah i thought i'd do a little bit of filming and it might not turn up online we'll see um but yeah so i was using an app called clue um to kind of track my period for the last two years nothing to do with getting pregnant just because i wanted to know when my periods were and like kind of make sense of if I was grumpy or like why I was craving t certain types of food and stuff like that and it, it's a really great app like I highly 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 recommend it and um Liam and I just used that app and it tells you when you're at like in your fertile window and um yeah we followed it it worked we tried to get pregnant we got pregnant and ta-da today um, but I just want to like say it's not like that for everyone like some people try for years and years and it doesn't happen or it does happen but I think we were we're just lucky ones like one of my friends when I had a catch up with her recently she's like if you want to have a baby like in a year or two you should probably start trying because it might not happen to start with it can take so long um, but it didn't take very long insane um, yeah, so I took um, a test and it says, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? Come on. Yeah, pregnant. <laughs> Two to three weeks. Insane. But then, like, the NHS um, say that it's longer, so the doctor will date the pregnancy as four to five weeks. So, yeah that's the news um and uh yeah i don't know whether to tell anyone don't know whether i'm meant to go to the doctors i just don't know um so for me like watching these videos i'm gonna try and learn a bit and do a bit of googling which you probably never do um but i'm going to do a little bit and take it with a pinch of salt um yeah so the only person that knows is liam um <clears throat> yeah <laughs> i took the test um we bought it together <laughs> and then I came home, took the test straight away, um, because I can always wee. <laughs> um, so it wasn't, I didn't have to wait. And um, yeah, and I just like, I shouted down, and I was like, Liam, Liam. And he came up and I was like, oh my God. Um, and he was so, so happy. So it was really, really lovely. Um, yeah, but I just, I want to tell my mum um, desperately. But then I know that people say, don't tell anyone for three months. Um, so I'm wondering if I just need to have like a doctor's appointment and then I can tell my mum. But then it's almost Christmas and I've got Liam's birthday. I've got two of my auntie's birthdays. I've got, um, I might be going on holiday. I've um, got Christmas parties and Christmas. So kind of need to explain to people that I'm not drinking and why. Otherwise they'll probably guess anyway. Um, it's not like I drink all the time, but when I hang out with my family and friends, we do tend to go out drinking or having cocktails. So it feels like I'm gonna have to tell people. Um, yeah. It's a weird moment to be in. Um, yeah, so the next stage of our lives is happening. It's funny actually, because my mum had a word with me recently and she was like, oh, your godmother was saying, um, oh, I, I feel like I'm waiting on news from Megan and Liam to tell us that they're pregnant because now they've bought a house. And um, we, I, at that point I knew that we'd just started trying. So I was like, I wanted to tell her, but I didn't know it was gonna be this easy. So I didn't feel the need to, I didn't want to say, because it might not happen. Um, but it's happened. Oh my God, I feel like such a grown up. I am a grown up, but a real grown up. To have the responsibility of someone else other than me, Liam and my dog. Um, yeah, so anyway, 
today, two to three weeks according to the pregnancy test, four to five weeks according to NHS, I guess all will be revealed when I one day go to the doctors. Um, but with regards to symptoms, um, my boobs hurt um, and yeah, they really are really achy and they have been for about a week and a half. Um, I need a wee all the time but I kind of often do, um, but I think it is more often than normal. Um, like I'm waking up in the night needing a wee, um, like twice a night, and I'm not normally like that. Um, and uh, I think my like lower back really hurt last week. Um, and then I was getting tired, more tired at night, and I was like, wanting to go to bed a bit earlier, and also like i was feeling a little bit sick but at night and sometimes like early morning um early like like 11 ish in the morning um so yeah i guess they are symptoms but i wasn't sure if i was just expecting my period um so i wasn't really sure what to think but anyway this is step one and i might keep filming who knows um but currently i still have a flat stomach <laughs> well flattish it's not very toned um yeah hi so this isn't probably how we both wanted to look whilst we were doing this video because i think it might be a video that we'll look back on quite a lot um but we've both been ill today and um, leo's been at work he's currently making a fire i'm in my pajamas and um, my mum and dad are about to arrive and we are about to tell them some very exciting news we didn't know if this was too early to tell them but we've got some like family fun events coming up and mum and i are going to a movie premiere on wednesday in two days time and i've got to tell her why i'm not drinking she won't believe like i love a cocktail i love a glass of champagne so yeah got to tell her the reason but the thing that's been most hard for her is to not tell anyone and i want us to be the ones to tell people um so that's been really 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 tricky for her um so the biggest test like mum to keep a secret from her sisters it is going to eat her up inside um yeah so we'll see but this is what we've done so hang on let me put the um tumble dryer on pause <sighs> better so what we've done is on our um on our fridge i've bought these things like they're really really tiny little cute magnets which are kind of like typewriter things and they're really really cute but they're not very magnetic and they were really hard to take off their thing but what we've done is we've put this piece of paper over the top of this welcome back grandparents june 2020 um yeah so hopefully I don't know, I don't know what their reaction will be like, but we just thought, like, when they come in, that's why we put the piece of paper over it, in case they bring, like, some food excess and stuff, um, and they want to come in here. Um, yeah. It's our due date, by the way, because... Yeah. What? We're pregnant. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if I've already said it, or it probably says it in... Nope. They'll <laughs> probably say it in the, like, title. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, I think when they walk in, I'd be like, oh, we've got a surprise new thing in the kitchen, so don't come in. Maybe. Um, and, like, I want you both to see it or something. And then Liam's going to pick up this camera and he's going to record. So now I'm going to teach him how to use this camera. If you don't already know. I think you already do. I don't know. There's a red button on there. Is there? Yeah, there is. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah. Hello everyone, so today is, I don't know what day, but um, it is, um, according to the app that I'm following, the first day of uh, week six, and it is actually the first day that I've had, like, six symptoms. Um, sorry, if you can hear any noise, Coco is just getting comfortable <laughs> to sit down and cuddle up near me. Um, I feel pretty crappy um i just feel like i'm gonna be sick all the time it's like it's right up here but i've not been sick i'm quite good at not letting myself be sick and i was talking to my mum it's kind of like a queasy feeling um rather than an actual like 
oh I'm about to chuck up <laughs> this is too gross sorry um but yeah I wasn't going to like keep documenting I kind of thought like maybe it's too private but like I haven't found that many really good kind of like in-depth and real kind of like honest reviews um of how it goes and also like the first trimester is hang on so pop you up here that's oh, not really high enough I just want somewhere to put you so that I can be a bit more comfortable hang on a minute Oh, I put this here and then prop you up on it. It might work. Okay, dangerous. So, <coughs> so yeah, I thought I'd document it because my mum was like, Why don't you document it? Why don't you kind of tell people what goes on and stuff? Because the first trimester is really super duper lonely and you can't tell anyone well they say you can't tell anyone but i'm very tempted to we've told my parents because um my mom and dad were coming to stay um like a few days ago um well like five days ago and i was going to a movie premiere of my mum and um like a few events and stuff and i just i can't lie to my mum so I had to be able to say like I'm not drinking um for a reason <laughs> obviously um because she'll be like I'll pay for a cab don't worry you can have a drink so yeah I kind of needed to tell her and um I was pleased I'm pleased to have because like she's been looking after me because <laughs> she's been here um uh yeah but I've literally felt really rubbish today I feel like I keep kind of go <sighs> trying to like breathe through the feeling of being sick um i've also like felt super out of breath but at the same time i have been struggling with a bit of a cold um so it's like trying to work out is this a cold or is this pregnancy <laughs> um it's a bit weird um anyway um so last today is thursday which is the start of week six last thursday start of week five i um phoned the doctors and i just said by the way i'm pregnant uh, what do i do um and they were like oh you can't come in here for your first appointment you have to self-submit to the nhs which was like nhs.com.co.uk forward slash maternity or something like that um and then you self-submit you fill out a whole form kind of t telling them about um your family history of medical stuff and um like how far along you think you are and when your last the first date of your last period was and all that um so i filled that out and i hadn't heard anything i was kind of a bit like anxious about it my mum said to me yesterday when we were at the movie she's like don't worry i'm sure they'll phone you tomorrow and lo and behold they phoned me today like being tomorrow today um so that was weird um yes they phoned me and they said we've got your appointments um tomorrow you're coming into um we're well, going into a health center um and then like meeting a midwife and i guess i haven't asked but i guess i will be kind of having my weight checked kind of having a little chat about things um i don't know really i don't i'm not nervous um but then i've also got the date of my scan um which suddenly like i was like oh my god this really is real today's been the day of everything becoming real because like my first symptoms i mean at the very beginning i had sore boobs and that was my indication that maybe it was time of the month not time of the month but um pregnancy and um now it's like I'm out of breath today. I feel sick today. I've got my two appointments booked in. So like now it's serious. Now it's seriously real. Um so yeah. I'm looking forward to my scan that that's when it will become super duper real. Um yeah. It's mad. Um but um I the thing I'm struggling with the most is about when to tell people like, I'm meeting one of my best friends on Saturday in two days time to um, just have brunch with her and she's only just had a baby a few months ago so I'd really love to like tell her and chat about it and just kind of have some support from someone who's just recently been through it but 
I haven't told certain members of family that I feel like I need to tell first. Um, but then Liam really sweetly said, he was like, don't worry, if you want to tell her, she's really discreet and like, maybe you want to do that because it would feel nice for you to be able to chat about it. But then, like, she's one of my best friends, but so is her sister. And I feel like I need to tell them together. Um, it's all the politics of when and where to tell people. Um, so I'm actually going to write a list of everyone I need to tell before anything goes on social media or anything like that. Um, so like, but most importantly, family, um, both mine and Liam's. Um, and what we're gonna do for Liam's family, we're gonna see if we can hold out until we've had the scan, which is on the 4th of December, so that we can um, copy and print the scan and turn it into a Christmas card and maybe put like a Santa hat on the <laughs> baby. I don't know, that seems really cringe, doesn't it? But I thought it'd be really nice and then we can give it to them and tell them to open it. But we're gonna tell Liam's mum before the rest of his family because I feel like, well, she's the gran. Although I think she likes to be called Nana. Um, that's another thing is um, discussing like what your grandparents, your, your baby's grandparents are gonna be called. Um, I think my dad's gonna be granddad because that's just normal, isn't it? And that's what I used to call my grand granddads um and then my mum i think will be nonna um she's italian um and also nanny is my nanny and they were her, like her parents and my dad's mum they were both nanny um so i think she's gonna be nonna so if liam's mum's gonna be nana and my mum's gonna be nonna i think that's really really sweet nonna and nana um and then another thing so We've also kind of not quite broached the subject and come to a conclusion, but we don't know what our baby's surnames are going to be. Surnames? Surname? Um, because I haven't taken Liam's name, um, Liam's not taken my name. Uh, does our baby become double barreled? Does our baby, baby have Liam's name only? But then I've heard through some people that have done that that they really struggle at school and traveling alone with their baby that um not having the same surname so yeah i don't know what to do um so do put your like kind of thoughts down there um because i'd be really interested to know about that um but yeah i think i'm going to be documenting a little bit more about this because i'm just not finding some like real good chatty people to watch um yeah, and I think that the second and the third trimester must be much easier in terms of not feeling too lonely or not having much support because you can tell people, um, you can meet up with friends and be like, tell me what's going on. Um, like I met one of my closest friends from school, like my parents called her D2, like daughter two, um, and I haven't seen her in a couple of years now and she is quite heavily pregnant, she's due in a few months and all I wanted to do was tell her, but I've not told my brother yet, and I want to tell him before anyone else. Um, so that was annoying, because I'd like to be like, I know how you're feeling, I also feel rubbish. Um, I'm talking about like what cheeses you're allowed to eat and stuff like that. Um, yeah, anyway, that is catch up from the first day of six weeks. Um, first appointment tomorrow, um, and I guess that will be super real, but maybe the third try the um third no maybe um the scan will be the most real thing like hearing a heartbeat. Oh my god! So it's the most miserable evening of rain, but we've just had a lovely appointment. This is actually probably the first day that I've managed to speak properly in. Well, today is Thursday and I think it was maybe Sunday when I first got really, really sick. So I've spent a few days being sick. But anyway, we're going to see um, a lot of my family tonight and we want to tell them. So we decided to book an early appointment to have a scan. Um, just so that we knew that we were telling them news that was worthwhile, so there's not anything wrong. Um, anyway, so we had the scan and um, yeah, it's all fabulous. Um, yeah, no, but I think you need to be in the right hand lane. Thank you. Um, yeah, we had the scan. I was a bit like hesitant because we went in and it was a guy and whenever I go for like smear tests and stuff I always request a woman and um, which is really harsh because if you're a guy and you're a doctor or whatever and you're doing stuff like that 
but you might often be like, no one wants you. Um, but anyway, um, I thought it might have to be transvaginal, but luckily um, I always have a really full bladder because I always need a wee. Um, so I was all good and they managed to do it on the top of my skin, like on my belly. Um, but they go way lower than I thought, didn't you think? Like, uh, no, because I know you're anatomy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Liam knows science and basic anatomy much better than I do. Um, but I, yeah, I was quite surprised at how low down they go. Like, I don't know, like, yeah, I wrapped myself in this tissue that they gave, give you to kind of tuck into your trousers. And they was like, put it in your knickers. Because <laughs> 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 otherwise it would have just got it everywhere. Um, but anyway, it was um, a really positive appointment. We went to this company called Window to the Womb because a PR that I met recently, she said she went there um, and she said they were really good. And they were, it was really nice. Um, we've got within i think i paid 55 pounds for the appointment and that with that you get your your scan they tell you um how long the baby is and if it's kind of forming at the correct rate and then they also say um they also give you a picture one picture and then um we paid 10 pounds extra to get what well, we get just a video that we it's did. the moving image of the scan um being like orientated and you see the movement because um she was uh we don't know but we're hoping um, <laughs> Flapping about and kicking around in yeah. there, so I think really, really active. But yeah, so Liam um, went and paid a bit more money because he really wanted the video, um, which is exciting. We'll have a look at that later. Um, yeah, all in all, it's really positive. We've actually got like the NHS 12 week scan in two weeks, <laughs> so it was a bit silly but it's gonna be so nice to be able to go and see a family tonight and be able to show them the video and show them the photo and it just feels much more real like when i saw it i was like oh my god this is crazy it's nice to know that um everything's happy and healthy right now so yeah also i've been using the app clue to kind of work out when my period was in general and then when um known as ovulating and then it worked out that our due date was the 18th of June, and that's what they said to us today. So yeah, everything's gone exactly to plan. We've been very lucky. Um, More skillful. <laughs> skillful, yes. Um, but anyway, that's it for today. That's our update. We never updated you from our midwifery appointment um, because I felt too rotten ever since. Um, but anyway, that's it. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Hi. So. I am just sat here editing um, my first trimester video and it is now, well, I am now today 24 weeks pregnant. And um, I realized that I didn't really do, I did some great in depth videos as I go back through it, but I didn't really update you enough on what I think I would personally want to watch. So I just thought I would give you a tiny little bit extra so I didn't update you after my first midwife scan and I just wanted to like tell you what happens at one because um because I hadn't updated you I personally would have wanted to see one anyway I would like to have known what happened if I was just turning pregnant for the first time um so what happened is we went in to our midwife appointment and um Liam and I got both got taken in and then I got taken out of the room to go and get weighed and then I got asked um are you happy in your relationship or are you do you feel safe things like that um and I was like yeah why and she's like oh we have to ask you separate from your partner in case there's a, any sort of domestic abuse or anything like that um so that was interesting i didn't know that um then i went back in and um, um after being weighed i got what happened then then we went through everything about like my family and like my family's history liam's family history i think it was both our family history um and then i had blood taken which i hated every single second i'm not good with having my blood taken i don't like needles don't like blood don't like anything <laughs> um and that was vile um and then um i did bruise on my arm after that um so that was horrible um and uh yeah that was about it really but it's quite a long appointment just kind of checking out everything and um 
just kind of getting some history down on the piece of paper um and uh I think that was it. Uh, yeah, so that was the first midwife appointment. Then um, the next appointment was our 12 week scan. And with that, um, as you'll have seen already in some of the videos, we had a nine week scan that we paid for privately um, just because we wanted to tell some people and feel like there was something to tell people um, and know that there really was a baby there. And um, so with the 12 week scan, we were excited, but we weren't like, as anxious so um that was fine that was quite nice and uh, we went to that scan um and i don't know i i've never heard anyone talk about this but now that i talk about it to friends they're like oh that happened to me as well so i feel like i should tell you um we went in for our 12 week scan and the lady did all the measurements and everything the sonographer she did all the measurements and she said the baby was fine but she wanted to um, check I think you call it the nucleal or something or other. So the width of the um, back of the neck or something to do with the back of the neck. And the ba our baby wasn't facing the right way. Um, and so she got us to go off for a walk for half an hour and have some sugar um, and jump around and all this and um, come back and it still wasn't really in the best position to get the measurement so we actually ended up getting another scan at about a week after that so about 13 weeks and um, with every single scan we've been to so far um they kept changing the date and saying that the baby was actually quite big so it was like a few days early um would you a few days earlier which is fine it's less time being pregnant so i'm quite happy about that um and then on the second scan it was all fine and on the second scan um we did get our bloods take or my bloods taken and um the Flebian or something, I don't know what you call it. Um, the person who takes your bloods, um, she could see I was really, really anxious. And she said, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I just hate needles. And um, she said, I'll be back in a minute. And shall we get a butterfly needle? And I was like, what is that? And she said, oh, it's what we use on the children. <laughs> um, and I was so thankful. She was so kind. And she's like, do you want a biscuit and all this? Um, but anyway, it's still her. I'm still an absolute wuss, um, but it was a lot better. So if you are terrified of needles, um, do feel free to ask them, can you use a butterfly needle? Um, like, like a little cute bug, bug, butterfly, butterfly needle. Um, so that was good. Um, so that was our scan done, and that is the first trimester. But what I feel like I need to tell you is how awful <laughs> it has been so from just after week six and so i filmed that where i'm wearing a pink jumper a couple of sections ago um i started feeling really nauseous then a few days after that i started being sick and so that's like about six six weeks and then i am now on 23 weeks and I haven't been sick for two weeks so at 21 weeks i stopped being sick so imagine that that's a long long old time of being sick um crossed over christmas which sucks i did have about seven or eight days of grace during that where i didn't throw up um but it came back um it was horrible um it, I lost weight over Christmas, which I've never done. Um, but the midwife wasn't worried. She said, you haven't lost enough weight that it's a worry. Um, but I was being sick two to six times in a day. And on average, about three or four. And it was just vile. I, I'm not a good sick person. And it just made me feel really crummy i was in bed a lot i had to turn down work i couldn't go into london for meetings and events um and it was just oh i cried a lot i just i hated every single second um and yeah it was just really horrible um and now i'm on week 23 i still sometimes get a bit nauseous but sorry week 24 today um i still get a bit nauseous but i don't throw up thank god and but i still feel very close to that edge of throwing up so 
I don't know if it's fully gone, um, but I'm, I've worked out some techniques to not throw up and not feel so sick and kind of prevent it. And um, I did write a blog on that. So I'll put that down there on like how to deal with being sick and um, morning sickness, which by the way, wasn't morning sickness. It was all day long sickness. Ugh. And also top tip, I don't think ginger really is that great because when it comes back up, it hurts so much. <laughs> oh, it burns. Um, but anyway, that is the 12 weeks. I am on my um, <clears throat> second trimester now, which feels like it's going on forever. Um, I started to show. Um, I didn't start showing until probably about 22 weeks. Um, and I'm only really just about showing and now um, uh, properly. And... Um, yeah, I haven't bought any maternity clothes yet, uh, but I need to uh, because I'm in tracksuit bottoms or dresses. Uh, yeah, so I haven't actually vlogged anything from the second trimester, so I don't know what I'm going to do, um, if I'm going to document it, but I hope you enjoyed the first trimester video. Um, feel free to ask me any questions down there. I'll make sure I respond. Um, yeah, I've also got on my Instagram at Megan Taylor London, um, a whole like highlights, um, on, I think it's called bump. Um, and it can tell you a bit more about what I've been going through if you want like more in depth. Um, but yeah, I hope you've all been enjoying it. And if you are pregnant as well, congratulations and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.